sent you, we, we spoke about this last, like, a couple of weeks ago when we were talking about England mm. and, um, you know, why the players go missing that I called up and said, you know. But uh, when you look at Foden, how he played last night, like, the way Pep will play him is like, just get out there and do what you do. Mm-hmm. Just go and do what you do. And like what Troy just said, with Rodri, the way he plays, he's different mustard, you know? And the way they just, like Foden last night, that's the end product. When you let him do what he wants to do, that's the end product you're going to get. When he plays for England, you've got Southgate that's so defensive, holds them all back. And the players, the way they're playing, and I say it at the moment, with Southgate in charge of England, they are just the top championship side. They ain't premiership. Okay? Oh, like tough. I said, when they come up against, when they come up against a team that's well organized, well coached, mm. well managed, with players that can match them in every area of that pitch, England go missing. Right? And they've yeah. done it time and time again. And like I said, they can beat the San Marinos. They can beat the Montenegros and God knows whoever owes, you know? <laughs> but when they come up against the Brazils, the Dutch, the French the Spanish, they struggle. They struggle. If you had the right, if you had Pep in charge, someone like that in charge of England, with Foden and that, then you'd see them. You'd George. see them just flourish. So, but I don't know if it's because, is it, do you think it is this? Do you think that Foden it plays like that for Man City because he's with them day in, day out, and he knows, he knows them inside out, and that's why they play like that? Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, sorry, George. Just to, it is yeah. it, there is a part of that, obviously, with with what Pep does there of day to day. We know mm-hmm. that you you practice it of more course. regularly. You're going to do it. I think that the, the issue we have is when we whenever we go a goal behind, everyone seems to play with a bit more freedom. Yeah, of course. Go to George's point, but if you just let players go and play with freedom, as you know, mate, we've no structure. It'll end up going all over the place, yeah, of course. and you'll get picked off anyway. Yeah. Sometimes some of these players have been together longer than what we have yeah. the national teams with the managers and the style of play of course. and then every now and again there's just some better players Yeah, it's a, it's a real fine margin isn't it right at that top level because we watch English football all the time we yeah. go that person's the best because I watched him this week yeah, and how course, good he yeah, was we haven't been watching what these guys have been doing in Germany or whatever yeah, or on France. a consistent basis do you know what I mean so I would just say just you know a bit harsh from George there I thought great cool George bit. let's go speak to John he's a Manchester City fan I'm pretty sure he watches Phil Foden every single week John how you doing? Hiya, Ben. Hey, hiya, uh, Troy. How you doing, mate? Before. We're good. Hey, nice little ditty for you last night. Just like our city, your city is blue. Did you like that one? <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that one, mate. <laughs> right, Phil Foden, I spoke to Adrian Durham and I spoke to yourself and Mr Goldstein about Irregular. Remove the shackles. That guy has got a football IQ at the top level, yeah? And the IQ and the ability to go with it. So Phil Foden is best deployed. They, called, they said, does this lad play pocket battleships? Play him in the pockets of space 25 yards away from the opposition's goal. He can receive the ball on the half turn. He can go left. He can go right. He's got that, that gate where he can just ping off your left or right. So if he, if he can't pick a pass to, say, Harry Kane, I'm talking England here, if he can't lay the ball out to Saka or to Harry Kane, he'll drive right in at the middle of you. Mm-hmm. And he's able... To score that goal, now, if you're playing, let's just say, I'm going to go hypothetically, the Italians here. Now, if he spins you on the half turn, he's 25 yards away from goal, he can't get the pass, he'll drive in at the box. Now, the Italians are going to bring him down, aren't they? Mm-hmm. That could end up being a penalty or a very, very dangerous situation. So, you, you, you take the shackles off Foden and you play him across the front line. In the team that you're talking about, Jude Bellingham is a beast of a player. He's an absolute... Top, top draw football is only going to get better. But he's box to box and he's an absolute build on him. So he plays bounce off him. Foden rolls you. Mm-hmm. Two different player, mm-hmm. But Foden, out of the two of them, is going to win you that game. He's going to... In the, in, in the You're talking about the tighter games, John. You're talking about the games yeah. where it's a bit tighter against yeah. the top teams. You, you, you're yeah. playing the Italian. They're, they're on you like a, like a cheap Burton suit, aren't they? They're all over <laughs> you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to give you a moment's peace. But you imagine, like, Bellingham pinging a ball into Foden. It'll, it'll stick with Foden. Now, if Bellingham's going off to, to one side, Foden's 
he's quite able to spin with that ball and drive in. Mm. And he can lay it off left or right, or he can go for goal. And you can see he does like that no look shooting, Malarkey. Don't know where he hits it in off the post. He looks one way and hits it the other way. He must yeah. have eyes like Mark. Do, 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 do you know what it is as well? And, and it's, it's a great call there. Is I mean. I understand John's point. Like, listen, I, I get it and I agree mm-hmm. with it. But when you talk about winning games, we've seen Benham from Real Madrid, big games. Yeah. El Clasico, mm-hmm. prime example, two goals, bang, bang, wins the game. <laughs> so he's one of them where I don't necessarily think like Foden can win a game more than Benham. Like, mm-hmm. Benham's has shown since he's gone, like, people go to Real Madrid and crumble. Yeah. It's too big for them. Bigger, he's gone bigger, there, bigger name players, yeah. I've gone there and crumbled. He's gone there and gone, nah, do you know what? I'm the main man. Yeah. And I think, I think as well, we, we get confused because we go height. So you heard uh, John there talking about he's a box to box midfielder. He's not box to box. No, it's just his build, and yeah. he can do it. Phil can do. It. I, I spoke about it in commentary yesterday. There was a there's a counter attack from Villa yesterday from a corner. Yeah, from um, Diaby, who was quick. The two players that were back with him, one was Jack Grealish, one was Foden. I think I, I think I remember seeing that. Actually. Yeah, so that, they could both get back. Yeah, they're all quick. Everyone could do it. How many times have we done it, mate? Box to boxes after training. It's horrible. It's a horrible run. Yeah. No one likes to do, do it. You know what? Even after games when you haven't played. Yeah, and no one, one on likes to do. No. But we we all could do it in what eight seconds, probably, yeah. probably a bit five if you really blast it. It's it's a good old it's a good old dig. So I just think we have to take the height out of it. I think when we look at Foden, I. I think my mind's eye takes me to like hazards and play, players like that. You think, yeah. oh, he can move really well. But actually, he's a strong boy who can move. And and Jude, to be fair, chops people left, right and centre. Exactly. But he's not really a box-to-box midfielder. Do you know what I mean? That's that's how I would look at it. I almost feel like as well with Jude, um, because he doesn't play here, Yeah. people almost like, yeah, he's good, but there's always a but yeah, afterwards. Yeah. Do you know what we, I mean? And we don't play La Liga Yeah. until we play him in the Champions League final. And then it's like, oh. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.